Sí, con todos. Sí, con todos. Para 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 Ba 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 ba. Abo 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 re. Eso ese es el remate, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, ¿verdad? No, it starts with ba 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 eso, eso, eso. Eso, eso. Try one more time from the beginning, the whole phrase. You almost got it. You almost got it. So the first part, the first part, play the first part. No, the, the, the whole phrase. I want you guys to dig in. I want you to accent, because they're going. I want you guys to do the same thing. So make sure that, que se oye el jalón. Param 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 que se oigan exagerado exaggerated more you're gonna notice that se te oye más alegre se va a oír eh a ver todos Eso, eso. Así, así se oye más bien. No más es cuestión de sentirse más confiados. Pero it gives you a, an opportunity to, to dig in sometimes, like el remate. We do like a very natural kind of a push yeah. there. Do that part. Do that part. Just that one. Do that part. Just that one. Do that part. Just that one. It feels very natural for you to, to end down, you know? So it's, they're just little, little changes, you know, but... So you have to listen to the trumpets. Let's listen to them. All of them. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. eh? The accent. Good. No más, the last part, let me hear the trumpets play. The last part, please. Yeah. 
Now go ahead and play that just with Abihuela alone, the two trumpets and Abihuela alone. Well? See, that's very close with the, with the articulation that you're doing. As long as you, you feel that you're fighting against him, you know. What notes do you have going? I don't know. What did you do? Play it for me. Huh? What? I don't know. Sí, con él. Ya, sí. Ya, es una sort of a tough one you're going on. Mm, you know. You know. Está, está difícil, difícil darlo con el, la articulación. But the more you practice it, the cleaner it'll, be, it'll get, ¿no? So I'm sort of feeding off of him and he's feeding off of me how I'm playing it, huh? I'm sort of, orale, toca el acento conmigo, you know? So we could lock in, right? He, the same thing, you know, says. Play that part. Un, dos, tres. One, two, three. Eso. So make sure that 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 grace note is there. I'm going to anticipate the note, but you're going to play with the grace note. I'm going to anticipate it, but you play the grace note. Right? Yeah? Yeah? A ver, ya todos, por favor. Ta-da, ta-da, ta Eso, no más cuestión ya, no más que se pongan de acuerdo allí. Pero sí va a sonar más sólido, ¿eh? M más sólido. ¿Ya? Yeah. Let uh, hear the whole. I think that's the only instrumental part that you guys have in the middle, right? Yeah. Ya no hay otro movimiento allí, ¿verdad? Let me hear from the top now, por favor.
Good. The last, the last uh, coro that you guys da -da 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 da were you singing? Can I hear that that part, please? Please. Por favor. Para ver algo de la armonía, sí. I think there's something there that que como que pide like another boost, you know. So we gotta change a little el manico poquito ahorita te digo dónde. ¿Quieren empezar del verso de nosotros o dónde va el coro? Si quieren del verso, no hay problema. Jardín, eh, cálenle así, because it, you, acomodando la armonía del mariachi, like putting it together, it's almost like a drummer, right, in a song, and he's working it out to see where the fills are going in the right place, how it, what kind of fill it's going to be. Lo mismo pasa con la armonía. It's not written in stone, even though you, you do have an arrangement and there's an idea. Every group has their personality, right? So that's going to depend on, on your directors. Okay, which way do you want to go? Maybe I want to give it. I don't want to play like the other guy. He has the same arrangement. I'm going to tweak it. I'm going to tweak it for my group, you know, to put the stamp of my group, right? Like, for instance, we would play anything. That, something was popular in radio. We never played it like the same on radio, like the way Vicente recorded it. We always played it either Los Galleros. We played it our own, like Los Galleros, or Sol plays it like Sol. We tweak it, you know, so it could belong to our, our, our way of playing it, right? Pero ta -la 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 -la. Play, that, play that part. Ta -la 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 -la. La 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 Pam 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 La la sol fa mi sol I think it's G natural, no? Eso. That's going to be and you're going to play boom 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 eh? Try like that. So the first la 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 Okay, okay, you know where it's gonna come in, right? I will sing it one more time. Un, do, uh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Otra vez? Otra vez. So you're, you're, you're doing one fall with the, with the scale before, don't do it. So when you do it on this one, it'll say something. Instead of being two, then it's like, okay, it's all old news, right? So just play us as your standard song. Ta la 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 Eso, ahí está. Now we're going to it. So then it's like, como que dan ganas de darle el, la cachetada a la, a la vihuela, ¿no? Otra vez. Eso. So you're going to rest. You're going to rest. Pum, 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 pum. Okay. La, 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 la. You almost got it. You were just one late, okay? One more time. 
A ver, con sus bellas tan famosas, en este pueblito mío con sus mujeres hermosas, pan, pan, con pan, su bonito jardín, pan, 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 pero ahorita, digo, se oye bonito así también, ¿verdad? Pero escúchenla de las dos maneras y uno dice, ¿sabes qué? Let's do it like that. Like it, yeah. it gives it that little extra punch. Yeah, I, I, the ending maybe change it up. Tan, 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 Sí, 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 claro, sí, claro, claro. He's good at feeling that also, like, feeling the music, he's good at that también. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Yeah. Let me hear that, the... Pa, 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 p
muy buen número. Yo, yo pienso que ese está bien como, como está allí. You know? pienso, los matices están bien. Uh, the trumpet solos, digo, eso ya, ya depende de ustedes, ¿verdad? You know, you guys want to work on that? Let's, let's do the trumpet solos, let's see what. Sí, ahorita, ahorita, ahorita lo trabajamos en eso. Pero yo siento los adornos bien, bien tocados, bien cantada la canción. La canción, armonía, bien, súper. Nos vamos a ver la, la parte de las trompetas. You want to take it from uh, a little bit before the, the trumpet solo in the middle? Play the first solo. So, but, but without the embellishment, what is the melody? Is that what yeah. it is? Yeah. 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 Huh? That part. So you, where, where are you doing the embellishment? On the other side. Play it. Yeah. Ta da da, ta da da da. No, no. So you would do. Well, I don't think you need it. To be honest with you, uh, you know. Yeah, concentrate more in playing that A really pretty, no? Going from the A to the D. Yeah, so concentrate on making it sing, you know? Porque no necesitas, mira. Para mí que le quita, ¿no? No. Now I played it right now, but really fast, and and it's still you could still hear the melody, right? It doesn't get in the way. You could do it if you want to do it, but do it that that fast. See, huh? see. Sí, sí. Ah, that's more the correct way of doing it because the way you were doing it it was messing with the rhythmic part of the of the melody right so yeah. play with con el armonía tocala Ya es balsa allí, ¿no? Chan, chan, se me hace, ¿no? You almost got it. You almost got it. I'll do it with the rhythm, ¿eh? That's better. It's like if you're dancing with them, huh? Good. We just got to flow, you know? Just flow, flow. Y luego lo sigue, lo tuyo. Yeah. 
I need to know. I, like, I can't make out where the where one is, right? So, da 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 da. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Let me hear it with the rhythm. Yeah. No, la parte tuya. You're doing a triplet? So there's a triplet there. Yeah. Huh? Play it one more time. So, so don't fall so fast on, with the skill. Wait a little bit, you know, because right away, no. Even if you're late, if you back phrase it, it sounds pretty, you know. When you're messing with the dim dynamic, and it sounds pretty. Play it one more time with the rhythm. The G sharp, hold it a little more. Hold it a little bit more. That was a little bit more. One more time. Yeah. Can you do vibrato on the G sharp? Practice that chromatic scale. Let's play from the right from the first solo. It's a, the G sharp is sort of tough, uh, you know, to to get it, but it's really good for you to be able to control it. Porque a veces sí pide, ¿verdad? You see, I'm playing it with them. Well, you, you know, I even held it back even more, but it's when it comes from here. That's that's really all that matters, right? As long as you're not getting in, messing up and getting in anybody else's way. You know, no sé lo que sigue allí con las trompetas, ¿eh? ¿Se empalma un poquito o no? Do you, you think so? Let me hear with everybody playing. Everybody playing that part, the trumpet solo, every, con todos, ¿sí? Try that one more time. So, so you finish your solo, and if they're coming in unison, right? So you finish your solo. Don't don't cut the note off. Just finish it. It's the same note, anyways, right? Because because when you cut it off to join them, it sounds strange, you know. Just finish it, yeah. And it'll, it'll sound good. Pero ahí está mejor ahí ya ya tu solo. You guys will get the confidence to do it, and you're gonna. Oh, okay. Now I know. Because esos solos ahí suena a mariachi, puede ser suena ranchero. No soy acá muy moderno, ¿no? Pero esas cosas. There's so many ways of really playing it. 
But the idea is to just do it the first time and really control it. And once you have a control, then you can mess around and say, hey, teach, how does this sound? Maybe you say, hey, you know what, that sounds pretty good, you know. Pero que tengan la última palabra acá, ¿verdad? Porque tienen más experiencia de ellos, ¿no? Pero el número está, está bonito. No bonito. Go ahead and play it again. Está todo de arriba. final lo hacen down up try down to, to down at the end más fuerte ¿sí? like that yeah try it mm -hmm. yeah this is must it's not too fast but it's right on that that tempo where you could you know it's no big deal pero si se pam pam yeah, pam, pam. <laughs> it sort of gives it like a different, like a little lighter, less, less uh, hit. A ver, ¿qué otro tienen, Alex? ¿Vas a cantar una? La chancla, la chancla. A ver. No, estoy bien, estoy bien. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you.
este es muy buen número. Este, yo solo, hijo, nomás. Son los dos nomás que están tocando. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think that it would be good. Eh? I know, I know you're coming right after, right? Uh, but I think it would be good for you just to do rum. Rum, just to hear the chord because you need, you need that because he's doing lead and he's doing bass. And we need a little thing for it to sound a little bit more complete, I think, right? Can, can we hear the mariachi play going into that? Por favor. Let's see, let, let's see if it works. See. Do that one more time. And I'll tell you it's been run, 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 and then run, 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 okay? Well, one more time. Continue. me gustan las hijas de Que me gustan las hijas de usted. O sea, continue. Que me gusta, que me gusta, que me gusta. Eso, exactamente. ¿Cómo Que me gusta, que me gusta, que me gusta, que me gusta, Yeah, stay in the one chord. Huh? Segunda tono. Okay, okay. So it's just, it's just the one chord and the five chord. The one chord and the five. Eh? One more time. But it's, it's soft, eh? Rum. Rum. No, what was so, so, so you're doing a syncopation there. So, uh, make sure you finish on one like her. Yeah. Y luego ya ya toca la ya como lo estás tocando, sí. Otra vez. Va, por favor. No, no, no. Tan, tan, pan. And then let him, and let him come in alone, and then you come in. Because it, ta, 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 then the bass comes in. It says a lot more, you know. Breaking up that little thing really, it sounds a little bit more interesting. Yeah, just try it, no? And record it, and then you have, you have options, no? One more time. Mira. Pam, 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 pam. Que me gustan las llegas de tan, 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 tan. Re. Re. Eso, eso. Y then let the, the, el requinto entrar y luego ya, ya te emparejas con él. ¿Va? So, you know when he finishes, ahí es donde entras, because it's right away, boom, la tensión va con él, and nobody's playing with him, y boom, se la tensión va con él, y luego ya entras tú, and it builds, and the guitar comes in, y soy bien bonito así, eh, one more time, va, ok,
Otra vez. Otra vez. Otra vez. Otra vez. But now we're figuring it out, right? It might be there where I told you, or we might even wait because se oye bonito solo. A ver, toca tú solo. Comenta. One more time, play it. One more time. Eso, that scale right there. Pum, 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 pum. Ahí pide, eh? Do one more time. Pum, 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 pum. Eso, okay? Y ahí entra la guitarra también, ¿verdad? Okay, let's, let's, let's hear uh, right before that with the color coro, right? Eso, eso, eso. Y los golpes, now, los golpes son, you know, they're optional. Si te suenan bien, bien, si no. ¿Verdad? Porque sí, it, it like, it goes bare down to just vihuela. And it, and it sounds that the, uh, you know, going from one end to the other sounds really good. It's more impressive. Para mí se me hace más impresionante así. Let's go ahead and do the verse, the complete verse before that. Yeah, so we go get a... Se me hace que salen sobrando los redobles, eh? Because he's, he's fast and then you're doing that, como que le quita. Se oye más borroso. And I think where he does a skill, da golpes. Donde entra el guitarrón, entra con golpes. I think it's a five chord too. That round, bam, 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 bam. Try where, you, where your solo comes in, please. Run, run. Ahí, ahí, no, no, where he comes in, pum, 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 just A7. Uh, sí, ¿dónde entra el guitarrón, mija? ¿Dónde entra el guitarrón? Pum, pum, pum. Y lo acomoda el manico nomás. Dale. Sí. Run. Ram, pam, pam, pam. Eso, eso. So just that ram, pam, 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 pam. Good, good. Ram, 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 pam, 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 pam. Eso. But that's where it is, and it it sounds even better like that, yeah. Ram, 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 pam, 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 pam. Yeah, eso. Ahí mero. Ahí mero, ahí. Sí, se siente, se siente bien allí. Por lo menos tienen esta opción y luego de la otra manera que lo están tocando, just listen A and B it, you know, whatever feels good, you know, a la hora de tocar, por, you know, these little breaks, como que a la armonía nos ayuda even to get into it a little bit more, you know. Those kind of little breaks. It's not all about just, oh, voy a cambiar el manico y voy a... And sometimes the breaks really help a lot. Pero ese número es muy, muy bueno. Uh, había una otra cosa de, de... Se me hace que de la trompeta, ¿no? ¿Dónde bueno, la trompeta? Let me, let me hear the, the, the intro. Your intro. I know that there's a, there's a, it's a violin thing, but will you guys come in? 
Yeah, there's a thing where, where you guys come in. I think, I think it's when you guys are playing, the four of you are playing, actually. Let me hear, let me hear the four of you play that, that part that you guys do. See, yeah, the soli part that they do. Sí, 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 sí. Está bien, está ahí una partecita, pero la tocan muy como es jarocho, pero en la trompeta, que se me hace raro, pero no se oye mal. Let me hear one more time. That part where you do a duet. Let me hear that part. Uh, what is it? One, two, three, one, two. Yeah, there. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, they're short, the notes, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Short. Let me hear that one more time. Oh. One, two, three, one, two. Okay. No más liso, no más hay que tocarlo bonito, aunque no vibren, pero. But that's with dynamica, no? Dynamic, sometimes, you know, even though you're playing straight, but if you mess with the dynamics, it even sounds more interesting, no? Yeah? Muy bien, muy buen número. Muy buen número. Sí. Sí. Pues si gustan, si gustan, to see what it feels like going uh, con los cambiecitos ahí. Sí.
muy bien. Muy bien, muy bien, Alex. Sí. Sí. Sí, 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 I heard it. Did the, the U, UIL or something like that? See, we had the, we had the, the Tampa State Championship uh, uh -huh. two weeks ago before that, the TMEA, uh -huh. the original UIL before that, mm -hmm. and then UIL State Festival was last weekend. Mm -hmm. Wow. A couple more weeks and they get spring break off. <laughs> 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 Spring break, we're going to practice three days. Okay, for spring break. <laughs> sí. No, pues muy bien, eh? los felicito. No, I mean, you know, I mean, it's very noticeable, you know, when you guys put in the time to, to want to play well, you know. You know, and you guys, I mean, I think in the whole country, or it, in this case, it, I think in the whole world, you know, son muy contados los... los, los los grupos en Texas tienen los mejores grupos, you know, de, de preparatoria. But son muy contados, son, yo pienso, unos tres grupos que son así, the elite of the elite, you know. And, and you guys are one of them, you know, so, yeah, you guys should feel very, very proud, you know. Porque mucha gente se da cuenta, no piensa que no, si se da cuenta. So you guys, almost like, it becomes like a symbol, you know, when they say, ¿sabes qué? Lo sé. Los de allá, los de allá, y la gente ya sabe, you know, you know. The thing about our, our group here is que a little bit different from uh, from some of those groups like in Roma and like in sí. La Cruz Grande uh, is that, that they're part of uh, they're also it, it's got its good things and its bad things. We don't get them as much as they do to rehearse them as much, mm -hmm. but because they're also involved with band and orchestra and choir. And yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're all these UILs that they did with us and all these competitions mm -hmm. they've done all these UILs with orchestra, band, and choir. And sí. So they're. They're working three, four times as hard as they're the involved. Average, yeah, you're involved in other, in other stuff. Yeah. So, it's, sí. it's, what do you think of, about that in the long run? You, you uh, think well, it's then, then it's right. Yeah, I mean, being exposed to all that music is really good. Yeah, it's really, really good because the more, the more versatile you are, in the real world, that's what they ask for. Ya no, ya no. I mean, it's very rare that that they'll call somebody like a specialized kind of thing. Hey, I need a, I need a, a, a Cajun violin guy, you know, that plays in that style. You know, like for me, it's really hard to get somebody that to record with a harmonica. I need a, a harmonica. No, and I, I need a chromatic harmonica, you know, con, there, there are very few guys. You know. O bandoneón, que lean música. Yes, yeah, Stevie Wonder. <laughs> no, no. But yeah, he's, he's you know, sí, very okay. few. There may be one or two in all of LA, you know. Pero lo que están haciendo ustedes es, es bonito. Es bonito, you know. You know. So it's just uh, with these kids, it's a, trying to find that balance between also because they're so busy with so many other things, and then some of them are in theater and other stuff, and then they don't show up. And <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it's just uh, just finding an overall balance to also among sí. everything they're doing with everything to do. Sí. You know the standards and repertorio. So it's sí, a, claro. we get them for a few years and we work them a certain way, and then we start again. And hey, you otra vez. Sí, sí, sí. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sí, yeah. Pero de todos modos, digo, es, es un grupo que es, sí. es un programa que es consistente, ¿me entiendes? No, nunca, nunca se oye que están tambaleando. Now only you guys know how, much you, how many hours you put into it, right? Sí, la voy a decir una cosa. They started sounding somewhat decent. Sí. Maybe in January. Around January. Maybe middle of January. No, yeah. Maybe it's sooner. It's, uh, it's Believe it or not, these pieces, these contest pieces, este, el primer son si lo empezaron a principios de enero, mm -hmm. beginning of January. So we had it for about six weeks, mm -hmm. but, uh, going on, going on almost two months. Mm -hmm. When we, este otro número y el mm -hmm. segundo y el tercero about three weeks ago. So, yeah. so there's still, it's a work in mm -hmm. progress todavía, and uh, yeah. we just didn't know what we were going to have. No? Mm -hmm. Se nos fueron todos, yo, poco a poquito empezaron a caer más. Some of these kids joined us in the middle of December, mm -hmm. and they're not even in the class. So it's, it's uh, works a little different good. here, but... No, pero, it, so. pero están bien, you know, porque ya tienen repertorio, nomás es just a, a matter of uh, adapting again yeah, to, the, to, the new, to the new kids, you know, but, uh, pero muy bien, super. Does anybody have any questions for Mr. Fernando? I know you're a man, and there's a couple of kids that wanted to pick your brain with it. Especially yeah. these players, uh, that gentleman over there, El Atito, he's been with us for a couple of years, but uh, they wouldn't let him play much the last years, but now he's playing more. Now <laughs> we have these three young, young men uh -huh. that came in a freshman. Good, 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 good. So instead, they're still learning, it's a work in progress, but yeah. you guys have any questions? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the, what's, a, what's a good way to learn uh, a style of a song? 
Y hijo mío es listening, listening to those recordings, you know, to the old recordings, las de, las de Miguel Martinez, you know, I mean, um, I think they're the one, he's the one who's recorded a lot of the, the, the son is during a time when Vargas, fíjate, they played more, I think they played more tastefully, and Jesús Rodríguez de Ijar, who was their director, told me, he goes, I wonder why we played like with more taste, why did we play with more taste in the 50s, I go, because none of you read music. Oye, sí, ¿verdad? Digo, yeah, once you started reading music, you, you, the, the, the style wasn't as, as pure. In other words, everything was by ear, so they got everything, I mean, the, to the last detail cuando tocaron. So you hear, you hear el maracumbe, you hear las olas, los arrieros, you hear those things with, with Miguel playing the stuff, el tirador. So oye, muy bonito y muy sabroso, ¿no? El mariachi. And um, right now it's really, really, giving you guys music is very, very important for you guys to know where the notes are. But you have to go back and, and, and uh, really find that balance, you know, where you guys are going to make the trumpet sing in a certain way, you know. Because, you know, the, trump the first trumpet dominates. You could have three very mediocre violins, yeah, and a good trumpet player, and it's going to sound great. You could have three great violinists and a very mediocre trumpet player, and the group is not going to sound good. Because the trumpet dominates the sound of the group, you know, so... The nicer sound you have, the nicer vibrato you have, the, the better choices of, of articulations that you have. Todo eso tiene mucho, mucho que ver. You know, I mean, I, enjoy, I used to enjoy hearing my brother Chencho playing with four or five guys because those four or five guys, they all played really good, you know, and they interpreted really good. So it was just, God, but it was like eating the best, the best dinner that you could have, you know, like, this is awesome, you know, as opposed to hearing four or five guys that, well, they sort of play okay, but no me está alimentando nada, pero cuando, I remember we were at the Universal Studios, we were doing one of the first festivals, I was in 1988, and uh, Chencho called Pato, compadre, el Bjorki es de violín, y el Pato, el Bjorki es de violín, y Nati de Santiago de guitarrón, and Chencho de trompeta, and uh, they started playing el becerro, And I was walking with, with Rubén, Don Rubén Fuentes, y me dice, oye, Pepe, oye, 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 de eso, en 50 años ya no vas a poder oír algo que suene así. I mean, it's just four guys, but man, it was just so flavorful, you know, the way they were playing. But to have that, you have to have control. That's why it's very important for you to get better at your craft, right? So if your trumpet teacher tells you, hey, you know, study your arpeggios, study your, you know, da, 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 study your scales. You got to have the dexterity, you know and, know, and know where you're going, where you're playing. You know, todos vienen, and then la vibración. La vibración, you know, because that, that could, it could make you a great trumpet player or a very mediocre trumpet player if you don't have a nice vibrato, you know. You know, it's, it's, it's got to be nice and centered and, It's like if you're singing, como si estás cantando, you're hearing a, a, a singer with a beautiful vibrato or a singer with a not so beautiful vibrato. Estamos cantando las trompetas, you know. You know? Pero los números que están tocando están muy, muy apropiados para ustedes, you know. Your vocals are nice, or, you know, los colores de las voces están muy bien, la armonía está, está muy bien. Just remember, because when things get busy over here in the melody, You guys could be a little bit busy, but not all the time. You got to sort of find that contrast, you know? Now, si son cuatro, cinco, seis, que están tocando un estilo michoacano y donde it's very free, pues sí. Pero un grupo donde está pasando muchas cosas, hay que tener mucho cuidado. You know, because uh, if you know rhythmic, rhythmic counterpoint, then you could get away with a lot of stuff because you know nothing's going to clash. You understand what I mean? And that, that's one of the beautiful things about Vargas in the 60s. That rhythm section was good, but you know, all of them used to go study counterpoint and harmony, right? So you had Nati Santiago, you had Rigoberto Alfaro, you had El, el Pato, not even so much El Pato, it was Rigoberto Alfaro, Nati, Jesús Rodriguez, um, Pedro y Chencho, my brothers, they would go to the same teacher to go learn you know, a little bit about arranging, about harmony and counterpoint. So here they come out with uh, Alma Llanera, So when they did that arrangement, they, there was no music written. They did it in, in, during our rehearsal. You know, they came up with, Jesus came up with an idea, you know. And Chencho came up. They, everybody came up. And then Nati came up. He came up with the part. It was a collaboration between all of them. 
but all of them were speaking the same language. They all have the same knowledge of music, right? That's a beauty, the beautiful part. You know, when, when you have a mariachi that does that right now, mariachis need an arranger to put things together. Y ahí les va. But when you get to a certain point where you have, where you trust your rhythm section and you trust your lead violin to come up with nice boings and stuff like that, it's muy bonito. Y la trompeta también, ¿no? You know, because now, I mean, it's, it's much harder to play a simple arrangement than to play something flashy. Because a simple arrangement is very transparent and you have to play it really, 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 really nice. You know, the melodías, you know, melodías where, where you're being drawn in. But you hear something de las trompetas and they're, they're drawing you in because está sonando. Ay, qué bonito suena. Igual que lo están cantando. Y hacen un matiz bonito. You're drawing me in as a listener. Órale, está so bonito. You know, or the strings. You know, you're playing something. You're, you're doing dynamics really nice or you're doing the effects, everybody together, you're using the same amount of bow together. Todo eso es muy importante. And you guys have a very good foundation here in this, in this school. Very good foundation. Felicidades, eh? Muy, muy bien. Siempre me impresionan ustedes. Thank you. Para sus maestros, un aplauso para ellos. Muy bien. Sí. Sí, y, y se oye, es, es muy, es, es una, es una escuela. Ese Rigoberto me dice lo mismo. You know, when I hear soul, I hear, I hear like me, Pato, and Nati playing, but like en estos tiempos. You know, that's, if we were still, if we were young, we would be playing like what you guys play, but it viene del mismo patrón de ellos, ¿no? It's, it's that, it's that basic, you know, that, 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 un patrón que es, what is it, like a, like a foundation that they left, you know? So the more you study and you know about rhythmic counterpoint and stuff like that, you can mess with a lot of things. Y se oye bonito. Y se oye bonito. Nomás es just a matter of, of decision making, you know, and taste. And Well, in this case, when you guys are, are, are competing, you know, you know more or less what the judges are looking for. And, <laughs> hey, <laughs> pueden poner campanas aquí. Yes. A veces nos dicen, Violín está usando mucho arco. You guys are using too much bow. I want to see less bow. And then you have some other, hey, you're not using enough. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. It's funny because we listen to the, the comments and yeah. there's some judges that are very specific and they give you some really great yeah. comments. And sometimes, who knows, que pues no te dicen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They start saying something they forget. They forget what they're going to say. No. Pero si son diferentes escuelas en the son that that one is. We fully believe that that, that bowl, that it is to usar barrera el arco y todo eso. And some of these kids that are coming in new, I think we have three that came mm -hmm. uh, Five of the eight are brand new to it. So mm -hmm. it's a work in progress. Some of them yeah. are getting the hang of it. Some of them are still not quite there. Yeah. It's know, a rustic you know, sound. I mean, it's, you know, if you're going to play bluegrass, you, gotta, you better play it. Don't play it classical. Play it bluegrass, you know. You got to play it with, con los golpes de arco que son. Y igual el mariachi es así, you know. Pero cuando tocan algo romántico que bonito, ¿verdad? Limpiecito, bonito. Pues de hecho, vamos a querer poner, queríamos este, poner el número ese, the one you took for the TMA All Staters, the Perfidia, that beautiful. El Perfidia, sí. We have a young lady, she's not here right now, she's mm -hmm. starting her own guitar, she's really, really good. Uh -huh. Perfect voice for that one, so I think mm -hmm. we're going to start learning that after spring break. Eso es algo sencillo. Hace como dos semanas hice un nuevo, nuevo. Ah, the guys told me, why don't you write something new? Y como el rey de la huasteca, no, te flojera, ¿no? Pero sí, hice algo huasteco, se llama pa, eh, Pajarito Cantador. He says, it's what's tech was, it's a bonito, fíjate. Uh, we, we only practiced it once, you know. I, I go, you know we got to practice some other stuff for some shows, but. Pero ese número va a estar bonito, you know. Casi, como te digo, no. For me to write, I mean, I got to be really motivated to do it now. No es como antes ya, you know. Pero sí me decís, cuando lo, veo que tienen ganas de, órale, ahí, ahí, ahí les va, you know. Pero sí, esto, esto da gusto, ¿verdad? Porque I know how much work it takes, you know, first of all, to write something like that, to get it just right, to edit it, you know, where, where you guys say, okay, okay, this is it, that's it, ahí queda, ¿ya? ¿Verdad? Pero sí, muy bien. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí. Yeah. 
why we're uh, telling them we're really proud of the, the progress because we, mm -hmm. we didn't. But you know, you when you have a a, 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 ju a judge that sees a score and he's reading the score and you know he's hearing that it's being interpreted yeah. different than the score. Well, I'm sorry, you know. Mariachi isn't, you know, it's not like the way it's written. It's interpreted different. You know, if you don't have a judge that understands that, valió gorro allí, you know? You know? You know, it's evolved over the years because for the first few years at the beginning of all these contests, they would hold them to, it's written a certain way to play like that. But it's just a guide, the vocal. How can you write? I'm sure you can. Sí, no, no. No, es que no. Yeah. See, when we play, for instance, I was trying to figure out why do we, when we play the trumpet, when I play the trumpet, I go, yeah, I never play the stuff straight. It's very rare, you know, unless some kind of effect or something. But when I'm playing, I'm, I'm almost thinking of saying the words when I'm playing. I mean, it's, so this, my spacing for my notes when I play a ranchera, it's like if I'm talking or if I'm singing. It's not like the way it's written, you know, because you see, Esta vida mejor que se acabe no es para mí. You know, that's the way I would play it. I wouldn't play pa pa da pa like straight. I I would play it like if I'm singing it. So my spacing is like the way I would talk. So it's very very important to to keep that in mind when you're hearing something. Como que están fraseando, como es que pues están hablando con el instrumento, güey, ¿me entiendes? Y casi todo es, casi todo es así. You know, and that's something that, that's beautiful about mariachi, you know, so always keep that in mind, you know. You know, so it's, you know, when you, when you guys play, ustedes están tocando ya de, de, de todo bien, I mean, they're, you know, están muy cercas a lo que, a lo que es, you know. And yet, you know, not, if all the mariachis were to play the same, imagine, how boring it would be. You know, it would be boring. Everybody would be playing the same, you know. But it's, it's cool. We're doing three shows, Vargas, Nosotros, y Los Camperos. We're doing three concerts in, this, in the next couple of months, you know. And uh, it, it's strange, you know, because they, you know, you got to send in el repertorio de cada uno. Sí. You know, they're like, oh, man, porque les mando allí lo que... You know, pues me, Vargas me mandó el repertorio de ellos, pues todas las canciones fuertes para ellos. Sí. You know, de José Alfredo, de Vicente Fernández, everything, like... Pues no nos dejaron ni una. Le dicen, porque aquí cuando hicieron un show, cuando iba a hacer alguien, ah, que algo de Jorge Negrete, ah, no, nosotros vamos a hacer uno de Jorge Negrete, dice Pancho. Pero son diferentes canciones. No le hace, es de Jorge Negrete, nada más Vargas va a ser a Jorge Negrete. Sí, 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 está en más. Tuvieron que cambiar. No, yo no, yo no tuve problema, fíjate, porque tocamos nosotros muchas cosas muy diferentes que ellos, ¿verdad? You know, so I, I don't have, but I knew that, you know, I don't know, I haven't heard Los Camperos in a while, you know, so I don't know what, what, what Chuy puts with them, but they do a lot of, you know, you know, a lot of the standard songs that are, you know, so I would assume that it, you know, somebody's going to be taking the songs out. You know, I sent, I sent mine in, so there's, and they dije, aquí no tiene problema. No, 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 no tiene problema. Yeah. It's, it's, it's tricky, you know, but it's also nice, you know, porque tenemos tiempo que no tocamos juntos. I mean, it's been, what, maybe 12 years since we've done Vegas or 15 years. It's been a while. This one is in Vegas? No, we're doing uh, El, Paso. El Paso. That's where we're starting, yeah, April 29th in El Paso. I think it's the 29th. And then we're doing uh, Fresno, California, and Yakima, Washington. Mm. And it's all three groups for us? The three groups. See, no, no. I agreed to three shows, you know, to see what it's, you know. If it's something that's good, you know. Because we do a lot of those cities alone, you know. Mm. You know, why would I want to go, <laughs> you know. It's better for us business-wise alone, you know, but it, it sounds like a fun project, you know, so we were like, oh, I guess. Será bueno, you know, and they're cool, you know, Carditos es buena gente. Chencho, no, manejador, lo tengo toda la vida conociéndolo, you know. Sí, 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 él hizo todo lo de Chayito Valdez, all those arrangements. Mi vida es que tú ya no me quieres. All those arrangements. ¿Cómo se llama esa la de, se me el nombre de la de? Pues todas esas cosas de Chayito Valdez, él lo hacía cuando era joven. Y de hecho dijo que él compuso el, 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 el Lautlense. Sí, dice que es, a mí me dijo que era de él. Ah, sí. Pero bueno. Que lo grabaron de repente los camperos y que él ni sabía que era. <risa> <risa> yeah. este, no, así que bien. Este, va, va a hacer una clínica, va a hacer una workshop about the trumpet interpretation, 
Tomorrow, or tomorrow it's, got, it's talking about. Oh, not tomorrow, on Friday. Friday. On Friday, yeah, it's talking about uh, how we how we phrase, mm -hmm. you know, and the options that we have, you know, and it's 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 bonito porque para mí se oye más auténtico, you know. But you, like you said, you have you have to have you know different choices to make when you when you're playing and 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 have that taste to say, you know, you know, you know. Claro, sí. Sí, las cantantes. You know, there, I, I, por, por ejemplo, aquí no, no hay mucha chance de, 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 de frasear en, en esto, en el jarocho. You know, you, you know, no hay mucha chance de, maybe at the end te puedes quedar, de, you know, if it's un final, ¿verdad? De una frase posible, pero you gotta keep with the with the groove of the of the rhythm section, you know. Pero sí hay 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 muchas cosas así en lo ranchero que que he escuchado donde hijo, they're not in the pocket or they're back phrasing and by the time ya pasó el tono de la armonía y están todavía la melodía está en otro tono, you know. You know things like that. You say, "Wow, hay que hay que cuidar eso porque es es, es peligroso, pues. Hay mucho mucho choque." Pero no, muy bien. Muy bien. Felicidades, eh. Felicidades, felicidades. Sí, claro que sí. Just yes.
Está bueno, está bueno, número 6, sí, sí. ¿Alguna sugerencia en este? ¿Está a meter trío, pero es un bolero ranchero? No, estoy bien con el dueto. Hay un arco nomás que, que, que dan, I think they should be up bow. Hay un adorno ahí que queda como al revés. Uh, it's towards the beginning of the song. No. Yeah. No, no, let me. Down bow. Good. Y luego entra. Y luego el primer verso. Canta el primer verso, muy bien. Ese remate. Va, 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 va. Dale para arriba. No. Va, 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 va. Va, va, va. Eso. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Three, four, one, four. Va, 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 va. Ya. Pum, pum. Ya, short. Eso, eso. Sí, porque pa, 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 pa. It feels like backwards, huh? Ahí se oye, like, more natural. A ver, pero ahí vamos a echar. 3, 4, 1. Ya, ya, ya. 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 Ya, Wow. Se, se están luchando con los violines. Yeah. Muy bien. Yeah. Yeah. Let me hear the, the introduction, the trumpet intro. Con, con la armonía está bien. Ahí está bien. You know, even though it's a bolero, doesn't mean that you have to slow down too much your vibrato, eh? Yeah. Da, 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 da. Hear the intro one more time. See, it's a good speed, eh? Still a little sweeter. Try it one more time. Yeah. Yes, poquito, but it makes it's a difference, you know? So you end then the next part. Eso está bien, eso está bien. Yeah, just 
como te digo, you know, the more control you have, you have more, more options to, to interpret, you know, and change it up a little bit, huh? Porque allí eran... That's slower vibrato, eh? Hmm? It's a little faster, with a little different take on it. So it's like you have options and you record yourself and say, oh, me escucho mejor así que de la otra manera, you know. But the more options you have, the better it is. And then you also, it's also good for your teacher to say, you know what, it sounds better that way. Right? Mm -hmm. You have two, three different options. Pero está, pero está bien. El número está bonito. No está bonito. Muy bien. Sí, 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 sí. No, Estelita grabó unas cosas muy... También hizo un disco venezolano ella. ¿Nunca lo has oído? Ay, se lo hizo Jesús. Vieras qué bonito está. Y unos arreglos de Chucho Ferrera. Y... Yeah. You can look for it. Es, es... Estelita Núñez canta Venezuela. Oh, man. Yeah, hay unos números bien bonitos ahí, sí. Yeah. Muchas ideas para... Chencho, Chencho grabó los guapangos de ella, sí. donde están los tres consejos y todo. Sí. Ah, yeah. bueno, entonces es donde vienen tres consejos. Sí, él dice... Sí, sí, lo escuchaba, pero no todo el disco. Los tres consejos, sí, sí, grabó varias cosas ahí, la del rebozo blanco y todo eso. En 1970, I think they recorded that. Casi, casi 50 años, 52 años, that's incredible. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, I think, yeah, showing the different levels of musicianship of your group is very important. You know, yeah, you should do something that's challenging and you say, you know, y lo tocaron muy bien. And then, algo sencillo, muy mexicano, muy, muy bonito, ¿verdad? Porque hay canciones que no necesitan mucho acompañamiento, man. And, you know, it's, it, it, that's going to depend a lot on the judges, right? Mm -hmm. You know, hay unos que son más tradicionalistas que, mm -hmm. you know. See, we, we've done some years where we've done some, some rancheras, so okay, let's just step it back. And when we've had the, the trumpet section, you know, pues Jesús que se acaba de arreglar, when he got to a level where, He was executing in Floreado, y hasta mm -hmm. solo hacía lo que quería, eso ya bonito. Mm -hmm. And that worked really well because mm -hmm. you had that song intense, mm -hmm. like something like what we played mm -hmm. in that Parocho number, then that ranchera in the middle. Sí. Este, and then other years, like, like this year, their trumpets are still developing, mm -hmm. that, that ranchero style, mm -hmm. like, ahí la llevan. So we did that vals, you know, vals sí. hermano, you mm -hmm. know, where it is something a little bit different. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know, I just wanted to ask you that question, porque no sé, you know. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, me, like if I were a judge, I mean, I would look at all that. You know, for me, it's, it's a la hora de la hora is how they interpret, mm -hmm. and obviously, you know, their showmanship and stuff like that, and the tightness of their group, you know, pitch, and y el gusto que tienen para tocar, you know, all that is very important. But every every judge is going to be different, man. I mean, what I think is very necessary is for the the judges to have a meeting on their own, so they could all be on the same page, because if they don't meet, if they don't meet. Va a ser un desgarriate. Everybody's coming, you know, from a different background and different areas. yeah, yeah. And, and you have those festivals where sometimes there's one panel on one day, one panel on another day, and both panels, different panels are looking for different sí, things. Sí, sí. Uh, and, you know, and that's and that's something that you don't really get in classical or in marching band. You get you, oh, lo que lo que es es lo que es, you know, you know. That you know that when you're gonna like when we used to march when I was in high school. I know that when we were when we were going to march right there in front of the judges, they were, they were going to look at us like the way they looked at the band before us. It wasn't going to change. In El Mariachi, we still have to, the judges still have to learn 
you know, to, t to talk to each other and say, okay, what are we going to look at? Y la capacidad de cada, cada juez es muy diferente, porque el mariachi es very, es muy, uh, se interpreta. You know, there's, it's not like one set thing. It's, you got to have judges que son muy capaces de, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't judge them on, on the amount of bow that they're playing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that because they have a different teacher than the other mariachi, right? So to me, that's not as important. It's more important hearing them play together, playing them in tune. You know, I wouldn't get on them, but oh, well, you're not using the, the right amount of bow and stuff like that. Well, so well what, what you could do, this is the way they taught me, you know. It's not my fault. You know, se oye bien, ¿no? Estamos de acuerdo, ¿verdad? So, you know, as, as, a, as a judge, I have to look at that. I can't, you know. Give them a, a one or a two or whatever. I don't know what, what the numbers are. Well, and UIL. Them, or all of them with a lot of bow or all of them with a little bit of bow. See, I them. mean, even if I weren't like a, a guy that, 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 if I were a guy that just looks for a little bit of a bow, but if I'm seeing everybody playing a lot of bow together and it sounds good, well, why yeah. would I punish them for that? There's a few out there. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> Es que necesitan estudiar esos jueces. <laughs> yeah, I think you, it's very important that you get, you know, judges that are, que son capaces, ¿verdad?, de, de, de entender lo que, lo que está pasando, ¿no? And, sí. Yeah. And speaking of the showmanship, uh, and I know this is just a new phenomenon that, that, that's come about from a lot of the high school groups and the high school competitions, because professional groups, you know, I, I don't tend to see Sol do this, or even Vargas, or... Although a lot of the stuff that Vargas is doing now was stuff that you've been doing for years and that mm -hmm. now they're seeing these students in competitions do that. You hear them do a trumpet feature here and something <laughs> here. You're seeing Vargas kind of... But you have to understand that, that Vargas, that, that this, this, this generation, they were exposed to my music a lot, right? It's different. Carlos was exposed to my music a lot. So Carlos used to go to my workshops a lot, you know? Yeah. So, es bonito, no? I mean, it, a mí me da mucho gusto y todo, ¿verdad? So you, you see a lot of my influence in his writing, also a lot of Pepe's in his, his tío Pepe's writing, you know, in, in Carlos's writing, but it's, it's como todo. At the end of the day, it's the decisions that you make as a director for your group, you know. And you say, so yes, de muy buen gusto eso, eso sí suena. You know, and you guys are very, very close. Por ejemplo, yo no siento que el grupo de, suena extraño de ustedes. Lo siento, pero soy, ahora le están tocando bien, you know. Pues son cositas que un arco y... You know, una sugerencia de la armonía, pero es, todo suena bonito, me suena bien, you know. Considerando que tienen chavos nuevos y todo, ¿me entiendes? Suena, suena bien, you know. You know. Las cantadas, uh, the, the singing, when, when we have, because it's all part of the, the mm -hmm. show or the, yeah. the way that it looks when you do a trio or you come out with, there's one lady over here, one here, one mm -hmm. here for effect and then they come together all sí. of that would you say that that's that's valid because some people yeah, say that's cool some people criticize it so well this is the people that are close minded they're going to do like that but you have to understand that mariachis were, have always been looked upon as mariachis not as stars mm -hmm. so if you, if you act like a star the people that are in front you guys are the front you guys are the ones selling the song and the accompaniment are us that are in the back right so our job is to really accompany really nice, and your you guys, your job is to sell that song to the audience, and you have to sell it like if you're like the biggest star on earth. Porque si ahí están parados así humildes y no quieren decir nada, pues you know, if you're nervous and stuff like that, people are gonna feel nervous for you. But have have you ever have you ever seen like a singer that looks great and you go, oh my god, like, but doesn't sound great? It's like canta feo, pero ah, qué bien actúa. Me tiene, you know, me tiene así como viéndolo. Perdón, perdón. Me tiene acompañado varias veces. Pues ahí. Se ven así bien, te apantallan, dices. But then you start listening, you go, oye, pues no canta, canta medio feo. Pero se ve de pocas, ¿no? You know, but that you know, says a lot about your showmanship, you know, so. No, but I mean, los mariachis are always going to be, you know, more on the, on the shy side. They don't want to expose themselves, you know, because... It's really, you're exposing yourself. You're opening yourself. And, uh, you know, musical theater is great for that. Eso te ayuda, you know, get out of your shell, you know. <laughs> ¿Verdad? ¿Verdad? No, 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 all that, all that is very important, you know. You know, todo, todo eso es muy, muy, muy importante. But you guys do it, I mean, I, I don't, yo no veo nada mal con eso, eh? Para nada. Para nada, you know. Now, like I said, it's something that we don't do, you know, Marga's, we, our take is another kind of 
thing, you know. You know, pero lo hacemos poquito, pero no, no tanto. Sí. No tanto, you know. And, and, and really, with the way you see it with these schools, are, uh, they'll do that more on, on their, their numbers, their three or four numbers for a competition. I mean, that's it. Yeah. So the stuff is more, a little more. Yeah. For the scenario, for the obvio del concurso. Yeah. See. But yeah, no, I just thought I'd ask you that because I know there's people that are, the whole thing with uh, hand gestures you know, and all, the, all of that. Uh, I tell the kids, when we tell the kids about Aida Cuevas, Aida Cuevas, cuando se presenta, no. Es que, yeah, you know, cada artista es diferente. José José, I, I'm telling you, man, that guy, casi no se movía. Nomás estaba enfrente del micrófono y con una mirada, cambiaba su mirada y, y you know that the guy was into what he was saying. Estaba viviendo cada letra que, que estaba cantando. I, I remember one of the first jobs that we did at Sol, we were at the Dunes Hotel in Vegas, and we were... We were right in the entrance of the theater because Jose Jose se iba a presentar, presentar en el Dunes, el primer mexicano allí, ¿no? Sinatra and all those guys were there all the time. Y Jose Jose va. And uh, mi primo estaba con la orquesta de Jose Jose. So we went and we played and people going in. Pero mucho, mucho paisano, ¿eh? And I, just, I remember going and listening to him sing. And you, I'm not kidding you. There must have been about 4,000 people in that place. Y cuando cantó esa, amor, amor. Que te pintas de cualquier color. Da, 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 da. I swear you could hear a pin drop fall. Everybody was like, and his facial, just with his facial expression, nada de esto, nada. But he didn't need to do it, you know, that's what I mean? Because he connected with her and everybody was just like mesmerized. And that guy was, y ahora ves a Juan Gabriel, y Juan es, ah, y que relajo. Y, he wants everybody around him to be, you know, You know, todo el mundo animado. Y, y, y José José no era así. Y Juan Gabriel sí era así. Y yo pienso que cada grupo, cada mariachi, debe de tener su personalidad. Y you got to decide, okay, which way are we going to go here, you know. Y nos podemos parar como soldados, sí. Sí. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, it's... For me, I mean, I, a mí no me molesta. A mí me da gusto, you know, porque tú dices, okay, that's not an easy thing to do. Because you got to remember all your movements. Como vas a, you know, como te vas a mover. But I mean, it's, it's more natural than it seems that like you guys are in front. Es, es, es muy importante. And with the other, in La Joya, I was telling one of the girls that was singing that um, all of you guys have, I'm sure that you guys read the lyric before you sing it, right? So you know what the song is about? And the whole thing. But a lot of time, a hand gesture could amplify a certain part of the song. Donde le da todavía más, más impacto. So, you know, things like that is very important. Muy importante. You know, sobre todo cuando es una letra así fuerte y quieres que impacte el, el público. Con un movimiento pequeño, lo haces, you know. Lo haces, you know. Eh, Miguel Aceves era muy medio calmador, nomás levantaba la mano así. Y él su mechón blanco, <laughs> you know, era así, José Alfredo era también uno de los que movía poquito, no movía mucho, Lola era siempre así con su manita así acá, con la... lucha no, lucha era just more of her face, se paraba bonito y, y su expresión, Amalia, pues Amalia lloraba, you know, so, cantaba algo triste y se le veían las lágrimas, and, and, but, and they were real, they wasn't fake, you know, they were... una vez le pregunté, oh, Amalia, oiga, doña, y esas lágrimas son, son de actuación, ¿no? Son, ¿cómo dices? Como si, si, Pepe, ¿cómo te atreves a preguntarme eso? Pues quiero saber, pues, que siempre la veo llorando. And I swear, she, she started reading me just the first verse of a song. And what, she was just reading, reading and she was crying. Dice, ¿cómo? Ponte a pensar lo que el compositor tuvo que vivir para escribir esta letra. No te da tristeza cuando lo, fíjate, de su estado de ánimo, de, de nomás decir la letra llorando. And she was real. And, and she impacted Vicky Carr. And Vicky Carr was very sensitive too, to see. But she goes, who's that lady with the red hair? Goes, That's Amalia Mendoza. I used to see her at the million dollar. My dad used to take me to see her. And she impacted Vicky. Fíjate, como son las cosas. So it's, I, 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 ha habido muchos momentos en, en mi lugar, en mi restaurante, donde, ya es como el último show que donde me 
me pongo yo a cantar unas cosas y a mí sí me, me hacen recordar ciertas cosas y, y cuando estás cantando es porque tienes que sentir lo que cantas, ¿no? And obviously, right, when you pick and choose what you could sing, what you feel like singing at that moment, that's like the best, you know, you know. Y es, es muy bonito porque estás interpretando una historia de que quizás ese compositor vivió, ¿no? Una, una historia. I wrote a song called, este, ¿cómo se llama la canción? Y la cantamos. We didn't, never got through it good for Christmas, you know. Una, escribí una, una canción para Navidad. Pues yo no me animé a cantarla porque no, no la voy a salir, porque no, voy a llorar. Entonces era muy fuerte. Eso, Gustavo, si quieres yo me la aprendo. Ah, pues apréndatela. No, está bien. Llegó la mitad de la canción esta vez. Yo, no. Ok, I'll try to do the other second half. Y yo también terminaba. Y el público llora. Es que no, es que, you know, parece que estás hablando de una persona, you know, you, the person you love, but you're talking about your mother, you know. And it's Christmas, you, and you, you don't have your mother, like, for the, you know, every time Christmas comes and, and you've lost your mother some years ago and every time that Christmas comes, you remember her. So that's basically what the song's about. Pues, este, te duele si no tienes a tu, a tu madre, ¿no? It's a hard song to sing. Y, por ejemplo, la canción Madre que compuse, Fernando can sing it live porque empieza a llorar. <laughs> you know, because he really, he goes, I can do it. It reminds me of my grandmother. My grandmother, she raised me. Like, oh, gala. Pues, ¿qué puedo componer? Ya no puedo componer nada. It's, it's, it's you know. Very but it's, it's bonito, you know, when you guys are young, so it's, it's, it's sort of different, so you have to use your imagination more, right, and, and get into a certain character, right? Yeah. Oh, sí. A mí me tocó con, con las reinas una vez, una vez, una vez. I go, what are you doing here? I went to my restaurant and the girls were playing, and one of the girls was in the back. <laughs> what are you doing here? Vete allá arriba a tocar. Es que me de, es que yo, me and so and so broke up. Y le digo, ¿a mí qué me importa? Eso no es un asunto mío. Le digo, tú, ve, ve allá afuera a cantar. Le digo, vas a cantar con más ganas ahorita. No, dicho y hecho. Préndete fuego si quieres que te olvide. Méteme tres horas. Uh, la cantó como nunca. No, la, hija de, la hija de Gudiño, Paloma. Pues ella la grabó con la red. Pero sí, ella me dijo, gracias, gracias. O se cantó como una cinco, pero, pero porque es que es cuando más de, quieres cantar. Cuando es, es, para, es una terapia para uno, es, esas, esas cosas. Yeah, if you get into the lyric and it, and it's you know it becomes something real and something something good, yeah. Oh, claro. No, sí. Es lo que tiene Pedro, mi hermano. Él tampoco hace mucho movimiento, pero Pedro tiene algo que te llega, ¿me entiendes? Puedes sentir lo que lo que él está cantando. Es una cosa muy bonita a ver. Escuchando a Lisa es como escuchando a Lisa tiene eso también. La, y la, la, su hermana, la Gaby, canta muy bien también. Ya, yeah, ellos cantan, cantan bien ellos. Pero lo que tienen ustedes aquí, las voces que tienen, y, y you know, instrumentally, están, están muy bien. Yeah, but obviously, the more detail you go through it, and, you know, even the, the, the better. Pero el repertorio que están tocando está súper bien. You know, but then... It's usually for judges, right? It's not for the audience, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or it's it, a balance? It's a, it's a, it's a balance because I feel it's that, that uh, it, you have to not take it overboard towards just for the judges, but that things that the audience enjoys too. And some of them are very catchy and it's always really cool. So it's, it's, sí. it's always hard finding, or not hard, but it's always an adventure finding the right song that connects with everybody. Mm -hmm. And this one, como esa de la vieja de Surunda Kazurunda, sí, sí, sí. está pegajosa y salen los que your competitors come out of the altar and singing the song because it's... Sí, claro. Uh, sí, so les gusta, sí. you know, the audience en enjoys some of them. Claro, a lot claro. Of them. So it's a... Uh, but sí. yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do también for the... Claro, for the judges, claro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. En las letras, ¿cómo te diré? I mean, there's always something in the lyric that the people will remember, you know. In this case, it's, you know, it's something that everybody grows up saying, it, right? So, to hear it in a song, es algo que se te, que se te queda, ¿verdad? Right? In a lot of, half of them probably don't speak, well, don't speak Spanish, you know, uh -huh. or, or fluently, you know, uh -huh. 
my son being one of them, nosotros la, la regamos este, en la casa. De los chiquitos, grandes, un poquito más, y luego un poquito más, para el chiquito ya no alcanzó en español. Pero we describe it to them as ini, mini, mini, mo. Sí, sí, sí. Pero, pero sí, son, sí. son letras que se, se quedan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y uno trata de, de, cuando uno escribe cosas así, uno está, you know, sobre todo lo huasteco y lo jarocho son, son cosas de, de vacilada en cierta forma, ¿verdad? Son de, a veces de doble, de doble sentido y todo eso. Pero es, es bonito, es bonito tratar de componer cosas de esas, pero como la gente le hace en el pueblo, you know, you just hear, you know, the, the type of... A, phrasing their language, you know, their words, their choice of words, the way they say them, it's very, very particular, you know, of the, that area, you know, those, those areas, allá, allá por, por Tierra Caliente, allá por la Huasteca, y en Veracruz, todo es muy bonito, a mí se me hace muy bonito. But así como los, los boleros que están tocando, los, uh, la entrada que tienen, eh, los jarocho que tienen, está, está muy bien, muy bien. Sí, sí, sí. Super. Este es el grupo completo o faltan un poquito más. Este es todo. This is this is the full group. Uh -huh. Little by little. Sí, 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 sí. Super. Aquí estamos. Todo aquí. Sí, muy bien. Y lo llevamos. Muy bien. Felicidades. Felicidades. Muy bien. Muy bien. ¿Usan alguna otra cosa? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta o están bien? Who's going into like? Who's a senior right now? So what in college? What are you? What are you going to practice in college? What are you going to, are you going to college? Yeah. What, what do you want to do? You don't know yet? I don't know what I'm going to do, but I do want to continue. Yeah. I'm going to go to Texas State. Though. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. But, oh, okay. So, but do you want to be like a music teacher or do you want to? I don't know yet. Uh -huh. I put music as my major for uh -huh. right now, but I'm, I'm not too sure. Uh-huh. Good. Ken must. What's that? Oh, um, I want to go to radiology. Oh, good. That's good. That's really, really good. Very, very good. Yeah. I had to deal with a lot of people like that in the hospital, but radiology, yeah, other. You know, when you don't get sick, you don't even think about people, how hard they work in the hospitals. And I, let me tell you, I was almost a month in the hospital, and man, I, 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 when I got out of there, I had to just, I mean, my wife's a nurse, but she didn't practice too much. She only practiced one year. She's a registered nurse. And we were like really young when she practiced that, right? But a uh, whole new respect for them of everything they do, every, everybody they have to take care of. No, a mí me tenían, no. Yo estaba bien, bien jodido, bien, bien, bien jodido. But after that, I mean, I actually invited all my nurses to my restaurant. I bought them all dinner. Go, you guys saved my life, you know, you guys got to come. Fueron todas las enfermeras allí a comer con. But, you know, they saw the worst of me. You know, the worst of me, you know, but they, they saved my life and they save a lot of people's lives. You know, I go, wow, I can't believe that. You know, but radiology, you know, that's, that's really good. Ken Maswa is going to college next. Uh, electrical engineer. Eh? Electrical engineer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sí, me, me habías dicho ya. Yeah. <laughs> sí, estás bien. Estás bien. Super. Órale. Vas a tocar el solo de Vihuela, bien. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, Kenmas is a senior. Who else is a senior? I'll go, I'm going to try to go into the anesthesiology. Good, good for you. Good for you. <laughs> I guess I have, you know, uh, uh, twins, a boy and a girl. And they're, they're juniors in, in college. And my son is very talented. He can canta muy bonito y toca trompeta. He has a very, he's very quick. And I'm, you're not going to study music. <laughs> I never want to tell him, study music. You're not going to go, no, dad. That music's going to be a big part of my life. He goes, but no. I don't want to be poor. Así me dijo, I go, what? He goes, no, no, no. He goes, it's just, you know, I want to, he goes, I want to have influence. So I want to be a lawyer. He goes, but I want to have influence so I could help people. I go, well, that's a right, that's a right answer. He goes, you're going to help people? I go, that's, that's good. So he wants to, be, pero mi hija, his twin, she, she wants to be a music teacher. And she has the heart for it, right? She has the patience for it, and toca violin. 
And she wants to be in Reina, you know, so. I go, okay, that's like a, you know, a no-brainer there, you know. But yeah, she's, for her master, she's going to do the mu music industry, you know, so she wants to know how to run, you know, businesses and stuff like that too, you know, so. So this is very important. That's my, my daughter Melody studied the music business in Clive Davis School of Music, you know, so. Yeah, so she, she's really good. She runs a, a record, a Christian record label, and she's done really good. I mean, really good. She's doing really, really good. So right now, it's different. Now it's not about selling CDs. You know, now it's like how many times do they play you on Spotify, YouTube Music, Apple Music, Amazon. It's every time that they play you, even though the royalties aren't like the way they used to, still when they, when they play you a lot, it's good. Like her church, I'm not kidding you. I think she's been there for three years and they made a $200,000 investment. She made the money back for them in two, in two years. And right now, per month, just in spins, the amount of time that they play their music is like 30000 a month that the church makes. But Melody's been running that whole thing for them, you know, so she's been doing really good for the, for the church, you know. It's, um, hay de todo. Yo he grabado como dos discos cristianos así con cantantes, compositores de música cristiana, pero ranchera, guapangos y de todo. I go, wow, this is really nice, you know. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's algo muy bonito. Pues la misa, la misa también. La misa. Y guapangos, eh. Sí, la, la misa tenía poquito de todo también. Pero muy bien, los, como siempre, los felicito. When's the next time you guys are going to play? Este, pues, el, el viernes van a tocar. El viernes en, en festiva, sí. Ya, ah, muy bien. Bien, el Great. So vienen todos con coraje porque les ganamos, ya nos quieren ganar. <laughs> sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Yeah. yeah. Todo eso es bueno, you know, because to me it's healthy competition, you know, as long as it's healthy competition, it's great, you know. Lo que no es bueno es cuando se ponen en negativo, y, you know, then it's not fun anymore. Oh, sí, sí, sí. You know, because yeah, it, it should be fun, you know. Si no ganan, se salen, no se quedan al concierto. No. When they win, we, we say congratulations, we'll get you next time. Sí, sí, sí. Ahora nos hablan. Uh, it depends how the stars are aligned at that day, you know. Yeah. You, how well each particular group plays. Pues claro, claro, the, the song choices, all that has a lot to do with it, you know. También de whoever is the, the, who the judges are, you know. Tiene mucho que ver, you know. But I mean, you guys are always there on the top, you know. You guys are always there on the top. How is Eddie doing over there in, 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 in Fort Worth? He's doing well. He's doing well. Yeah, yeah he's, uh, he says some days I'm like, yes, I love what I'm doing. They say, <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to quit. <laughs> I love a love hate relationship. Yeah. It's because it's, uh, you know, to do it every day. It's easy. It's easy. But he's, he, he won the 6A state championship yeah. with, his, uh, mm -hmm. with his group. He yeah. won the 5A state championship. And. Uh, and which includes like the, the Romas, the Rio Grandes, the Ed Couches, all of those. So we Good. had never competed with them because we're a 6A school, but uh -huh. we lost some numbers. So because of numbers, they brought us down to the 5A category, which mm -hmm. in the Mariachi world is the toughest one because they're the ones that are built from the ground up. But he's doing good. His group is big turnaround. Mi Marta was doing a great job. Si, si, si. Pero José Eri como quiera José Eri. Si, si, si. So he said, oh, give me a couple more years and I'm going to have them the way I really want them. So he said, a ver si duro. Si. Si, pero muy bien, eh? Oh, muy bien. Felicito. Yeah, it's it's good because we, other groups sometimes inspire you know, to to uh, to want to do better. You know. Yeah. So you uh, are you going to rehearse tomorrow with, with with those guys with Aslan? Yeah. Muy bien. Entonces te voy a poner. Actually, um, no, I won't be there. Ah, ya ves. Ah. Because oh, you're going to practice here. Ah, still. Priorities. Está bien. <laughs> The way it should be, the way it should be. Ay, ay, ay. Estás muy bien. Los felicito.